Hey, what's going on, guys? So Nottingham Forest have reached an agreement to sign Huddersfield Town duo Harry Toffolo and Lewis O'Brien, who I'll do a video on later today or early tomorrow. A combined fee has been settled on, but the deal is still subject to personal terms being agreed and a medical completed, neither of which should prove to be a stumbling block. Toffolo in particular is an incredible signing as he's just about entering the prime of his career and is available for a cut price 2.5 million quid due to the fact he's entering the final year of his contract. It's a bitter blow for Huddersfield to be losing their two best players to a side that controversially beat them in the playoff finals. In fact, it was the same pair that were denied penalties by John Moss during their 1-0 defeat to Forest. Mental how life works out, doesn't it? Now for those unaware of Toffolo's career thus far, he's had to get to the top the hard way. He came through Norwich City's academy as a highly promising young talent but couldn't quite break into their first team and was loaned out numerous times to four different clubs in League One across five years. Eventually, he departed for championship side Millwall on a full-time deal where he bizarrely didn't make a single appearance before being sold to League Two Lincoln City. This is where things really started taking off for Toffolo as his side won the division and he was named in the PFA Team of the Year for his performances. Six months into the following season, Huddersfield took a punt on him and have never looked back in the two and a half years that have followed. Last season in particular was the best of his career to date with six goals and eight assists in 48 appearances as a left wing back in Carlos Corberan's 3-5-2 system, which makes him a perfect fit for Steve Cooper too. The lad is eligible to represent both England as well as Italy on the international stage through his father's ancestral background, which explains his surname. In addition to all this, he appears to be a smashing bloke off the pitch as showcased by his charity work. In his own words, as footballers, we finish training at half past one. I'd rather partake in charity than win a season on FIFA or Football Manager. You've got to go out and give back to people who give to you. Anything where I can influence another individual or make them happy or change their life in any way, I'll do as much as I can for them. This is exactly the type of personality you want in and around the dressing room. In regards to his style of play, Toffolo is the quintessential modern day fullback who is an integral part of his side's tactical makeup as an attacking outlet. With the majority of teams in world football having a whole host of inverted wingers who like to cut inside, players in Toffolo's position have an opportunity to run into a channel of space and there may even be times where you can find him the furthest forward up the pitch. He's quite clearly a student of the game as he likes to get to the byline and produce a wide range of crosses depending on the profile of the opposition. An example being him playing low balls into the box against a very tall side who might not be as nimble when dealing with cutbacks. He's no mug defensively either and gets really tight to wingers who perhaps can't match him for pace while giving himself a yard or two should the opponent be rapid. His work rate is second to none and you'll see him breathing out his arse at the end of the 90 minutes after emptying the tank for his side. In my opinion, he was quite easily the standout left-sided defender in the championship last season and has fully earned the right to play Premier League football. I've got very little time for most players as human beings, but when one like Toffolo comes along, I really do wish them all the very best. He was actually a Chelsea supporter growing up and took a notepad with him to Stamford Bridge as a 10-year-old to jot down information on Ashley Cole, who for me is the best English left-back of all time, and that attention to detail from a young age is finally paying dividends. Forest supporters can look forward to watching an adventurous, all-action defender in the mold of Andy Robertson on their left flank, and I'm extremely confident that he'll prove to be a success and quickly become a fan favourite. In some ways, I'm surprised to see him come through the door given the arrival of Omar Richards, but depth is the name of the game, and having two quality options competing against one another over what is going to be a long and grueling season can only be a positive. Cheers for tuning in, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If that is the case, please do consider giving it a like. If you're new to the channel, I've done plenty of forest-related content, which you can see via my channel pages, and I'm looking forward to doing a lot more over the course of this season. Take care and have a wonderful week ahead. Peace.